I just want to record this. I don't know if I'll share it or not. Um, so, this puppy right here. I had to bring him back to life about two or three times whenever, right after he was first born. And, uh, you know, it's just heartbreaking whenever a, a puppy gets that puppy fading syndrome or whatnot. And, uh, you know, this uh, little guy here, he's having a problem standing and walking. He just keeps falling over just like that. Uh, we treated him. Uh, I was thinking that maybe he was sick with pneumonia. And so we gave him antibiotics, uh, stuff like that. But uh, even though I still think that it helped him, um, he's just been like this. And his challenges are so... Are so great you know compared to the other puppies and so anyway I, I what I wanted to kind of highlight here is I've never had anybody that was special needs in my life never from you know my kids to, to stuff like that I've, I've never actually experienced it but I I have to say that uh I'm actually excited, and, and, and it's and it's taught me a lot. Uh, you know, I really love watching the other puppies grow, but this little guy right here, he tries so hard, and and with every little uh, bit of progress he makes, it it just brings me so much joy to watch him do that. And uh, you know, I'll keep encouraging him. I'll keep going like this you know get, come on buddy you can do it and he'll get there he'll stand he'll wobble stuff like that um i'll tell you guys more about the condition that he has but just having a puppy like this that's just why i named him epicurean which means more than a dog i'm gonna call him epic and uh, i may you know nobody may want him i have a guy that that might possibly want him but, you know, he's kind of got that goofy smile, and he, he's such a beautiful little creature, but he's just teaching me so much about love and compassion. And, you know, anybody else would just, uh, you know, leave this, this little guy to, to die. And I just find that so heartbreaking. And I'm going to keep working with him. We're going to do what we can and uh, make it so that he has a good, happy life and if, if I can't find anybody for him, well, then I'll keep him. Uh, I'll keep him. But, yeah, he's just just watching all the progress that he makes, even the, the little itty-bitty progress. Like him sitting up like this, uh, he actually got the stand taking a pee the other day. And, you know, a lot of times he'll flop down on his side and take a pee or, or poop. But uh, just him being able to do this for an extended period of time is amazing. When he was younger there a couple weeks ago, I, I didn't know, you know, I just figured it was part of his growing, uh, you know, his growing up. And maybe, you know, he'll grow out of it from the research that I, I found. But here he is. He's, uh, he's several weeks old now. And I have a puppy with special needs here. And I just find it amazing. Uh. I don't know what to say. It just really separates us. Uh, you know, on, on my blog, I talk, to, talk about a lot about love and compassion. And I've never had to experience it like I'm experiencing it now. Like he takes more of my attention, more of my time. I've, I've had to bottle feed him myself because he had problems sucking from the tit and uh, stuff like that. And uh, yeah, I just, I just think it's, I don't know, it's, I don't know why I find it exciting, but it's like this little guy, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to walk him through every step of the way. So we'll just see what happens and how he does, uh, you know, and yeah, I just wanted to share that with uh, everybody maybe, and I don't know if I'm going to upload this or not, but I definitely want to document all his progress.